I want to do something. I do it like everyone else. Some things we just have to adapt and change so I could do them. We really never told him he couldn't do anything. And if he wants to do something, we find a way of making it happen. Jack's a 15-year-old boy who's just like any other 15-year-old boy, except he has Duchenne muscular dystrophy. It's basically a disease where, like, um, using your muscles, they get weaker over time. There's no real cure yet. When Jack was five years old, he was like any other kid, except we started to notice that he was a little slower than his brother, keeping up with him, going up the stairs and things like that. So we decided to take him to the pediatrician, and he says he'll be fine. So my wife insisted that he uh, see some physical therapist. And right when we got there, the physical therapist knew exactly what she was looking at. She said, you know what, I think we need to run some tests. And from there, that's how we found out his diagnosis. As a parent getting that news, hmm, it was like, um, just a shot to the chest, right? Um, it's news that you're not prepared for. Um, it, it's something a parent should ever have to hear. There's, there's nothing you can do to, to change the muscular dystrophy, so you can do everything else around it. You can make it easier, you can have fun, and do everything you possibly can. Jack always comes up with some sort of challenge, and we always wind up meeting it or exceeding it in some ways. I want to be in the marching band because of all the friends that I had that are in it. Jack wants to join band. We're like, absolutely. So the question was, how is Jack going to march in a marching band in a wheelchair holding this big euphonium? So his dad had to develop a holder to hold the instrument. So this is Jack's instrument holder that I came up with after several attempts. I made it so we could just slip onto his handlebars. To play in the marching band, I had to learn how to play my instrument and move my wheelchair at the same time. I actually couldn't do both until um, my dad had to put a second controller on my wheelchair so I could move and I've never driven with my left hand before. It took a lot of practice. But of course we can't forget about Tommy. Tommy is my service dog who um, marches with us sometimes. Tommy is at, he's at practice. He goes to school with Jack, so during practice at school, um, he's out on the field with him and learning how to move here and there and do all the marching band stuff. I'm sure he's not in step because he's got twice as many legs to keep track of, but he may be out of step here or there. <laughs> At the first home game of the season, Jack took Tommy out with him out on the football field. It was amazing to see Tommy keeping up with Jack, and Jack zipping around here and there and turning, and Tommy was determined to keep up with him. He did not want to be separate from him. Being out on the field is awesome because everyone I know at school is at the games, and we're what everyone's paying attention to when we're out there performing. Knowing everything was involved to get Jack out on the field and it all came together, kind of one of those really proud mom moments. See my son out there performing is just awesome because I know he's having fun and it's something he can do with his friends. Everybody gets to see him out there just having a good time and playing his instrument. He can do it all. <laughs> <laughs>